So Sony and MCR are cu coming together to make Stephen King's Dark Tower Saga. Now you have... What, what? Yeah. Yeah. So I, now you are have... they right on the coattails of um, what George R. R. Martin's... Uh, uh, what Game of Thrones series is what it sounds like to me. Mm, well, maybe. how about you? Or all the how, other like long book series. How about you just let me? How about you just let me describe it? Nope. Okay. So Guessing. you have Ron Howard, Brian Grazer, Akiva Goldsman have been working on bringing this project to TV slash movies because what they want to do is they want to have big movies and supplement it with TV shows. So. There's eight books now in this series, so you can't have all eight movies. Well, you could, but we don't need to go that far. Um, but they want to wow. have movies, and then the TV shows kind of fills in the middle. So they've been working on this for quite a while. This has been picked up by, let's see, where's my list? Universal, and then dropped. It's been picked up by WB, and then dropped. And it's also been picked up by HBO, I believe, before Game of Thrones, and then dropped because it's just too immense of a project. Nobody could quite figure out how to get this all together. Mm, now, that doesn't you, always bode well. It, well, yeah, that's true. But you have people like Ron Howard. I mean, tell me a bad movie he's made. Um, yeah. The one that no one remembers because mm. it's so bad? No, he makes good movies, all right? He makes good ones. Uh, so, and And the idea is awesome. So... Again, it's a Stephen King one, which if you look at Stephen King movies, they don't really translate. It uh, There hasn't been quite a, that great of a track record of Stephen I mean, King They don't movies. translate. They're some of like, the biggest movies there are. Name one. Shining. Okay, that was a big movie. That was a Stephen King. I was thinking about like It, um, the Knicker Knockers, or Tommy Knockers. There's a bunch of them. Uh, uh, Stand uh, By Me. Um, I mean, it's not Stephen King, is it? Yeah, it's based off of uh, The Body. Oh, okay. Well, all right, fine. I'll take that. Um, uh, what else? Uh, not a big, those are two, like, big ones. There's no, yeah. there's others that I've seen, like, Hearts in Atlantis was based off of his book. That, was, yeah. that was didn't make as big of an impact as Shining and uh, yeah, was, Stay By Me. But, but yeah, Shining, now, you got me with Shining. You definitely got me with Shining. But they, they've made plenty of Stephen King books in the movies that haven't worked and they've had a couple hits so he's made a lot of um, he's has so many books and they just made a lot of them into movies. He, does, he does have a billion books and it makes me think how does he write a series that now this book series started he's the first book was published in 1982 the last book of the series so far at least was published in 2012 and he wrote like 1500 books in between so it i don't know how he does that he's He's got talents for that. But so I think this is a really interesting idea. What you have is a really probably a trilogy of movies. That's kind of what I'm expecting. And then maybe four seasons of a TV show so, or five. I would work. So you have a movie. Then you carry that over into TV for maybe two seasons. And then you have your, your second movie and then another two seasons. And then your third movie or, or maybe and then a final TV season, maybe four. Maybe See, the, the idea makes sense for big books. That way you don't have to try and rush everything in the movies. Mm -hmm. But it's also really weird to try to do both. Like, yeah. pick one or the other. That's why Game of Thrones was a great idea because they decided, let's just, we know we can't compress this all into a movie. We'll make it into a TV show. We can stretch that out. Yeah. But, um, like, if you look nowadays, they are there's something similar going on right now with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and what they're doing in the MCU. And now Daredevil, we'll get back to that later, is also kind of doing We're talking about that. comic books, which have, like, no, Dark Tower's extraordinary not a comic book. Well, yeah, amounts yeah, right. of content well, yeah. filled in between things. Well, this has comic books, but <laughs> so there were Dark Tower comics. Lots of them. Dark Tower comics was publishing company, wasn't it? Yeah, but there was also off okay. of the books. There was comics off of it. So, okay. Yeah. Um, and that's Dark Horse comics. Going with, I thought that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's Dark Horse comics, so I believe. Yeah, but there should be some dark. If there's not Dark Tower comics, there there needs to be do one it now. And, do it now. Do it right now. And whoever's <laughs> watching <laughs> may. But yeah, so let's tell you a little bit about what to expect from this because it's a very very big thing. So the books follow a character named Roland DeChain, who is actually the last living member of a. Uh, you know, it's kind of a group of knights, you know, a knights of the round table um, called the Gunslingers. So already a pretty cool name. I like guns, uh, you know, and it's like a knight gun, gun knight. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, 
and it's set in a place called Midworld. So a little bit of a ripoff, it seems like, from Mr. Tolkien. Um, Middle yeah. Earth. Um, Middle Earth. Mid-world. Well, uh, even more so than that. Midgard. Uh, you, you'll probably go into it in a second why it's... Well, I don't know. I guess people don't realize that Tolkien's world was semi-connected with our own world. Yeah, it was supposed to be. But, um, but then, so you have uh, the the world, what, what the setting is, is it's a technologically, look at it like everything stopped in like the mid middle, uh, you know, the wild, wild west times. Maybe like the 1860s, 1870s, 1880s. All technology pretty much stopped at that point, but you do have magic mixed in there. So these gunslingers are a bunch of gunslinging guys of course but they also can kind of use these magic relics now magic has vanished from the world people don't really know why but there are still relics and things left over so they're not much but a little bit here and there and there's also um they hint it's at like, that's like the plot of final fantasy 6 okay but they also hint at, <laughs> at i mean final fantasy 6 came out later so right. it's like whatever but. They also hint at a technologically advanced society that is also gone that left some Final relics Fantasy here. Fantasy six. Does Final Fantasy six rip off the Dark Tower? Uh, it might have. Might <laughs> just a little bit. Might just a little bit. So, <laughs> so the real plot of this story is you have a, a Roland. He's going on a journey to find the Dark Tower, which is what I read was it's explained as the nexus of all the universe. So. He, because the world seems to be falling apart. Everything's disappearing. You have towns, you have areas, you have people just suddenly disappearing. Nobody quite knows why. Um, they ex- described one part of, as sometimes the, the sun will set in the, I mean, ri- rise in the north and then set in the east. So stuff is going crazy in this world. Um, and to be honest with you, it sounds awesome to me. Kind of sounds like a mixture of uh, Lord of the Rings with Final Fantasy VI, and coolness yeah i've heard a lot of people say that's like their favorite book series fantasy series some people have also said that it kind of dropped off after a few books but you'll hear criticisms like that um one of my friends actually it's it's his favorite set of books Mm. um but i've heard other people say that yeah after the third book it just gets kind of convoluted but it has a, a really interesting story around it uh, in that, like, because it took him so long to write, like, people were really into it, and there was people literally dying, uh, and wanted to know, like, what's going to happen, <laughs> and Stephen King would not tell anyone what's going to happen, because he said, like, I don't know, like, people wrote to him from death row, saying, like, God, <laughs> Please you gotta let me tell, tell me, like, I, I, I won't tell anyone, I'll be dead in a week. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, old, old women, like, 87-year-old women on their deathbed, are like, you gotta tell me, because I'm not gonna live long enough to wait for you to publish the book. Mm-hmm. Well, and when you like, take over 30 years, or about 30 years to finish everything, that's pretty crazy. And I bet you there's people out there that are feeling the same way about the Game of Thrones, you know, A Song of Fire and Ice, with George R. R. Martin, with what he's doing with that, so... Yeah, I, yeah, I think, too, like, people, there were people that were reading the first Dark Tower book when it came out, right, that waited, had to wait, what, 30 years, like you said, to get to, to this point so i think it's I, I thought it was over now i thought it was complete i believe now, but... i believe the eighth book was the last one it was going to be seven books and then he did the old switcheroo and extended it to eight so but there's also a lot of comic books that have supplemented it there's been a lot of other stuff going around it because he developed a really really deep and intense world where you know other things other than this Roland character are happening so there, there's a lot going on with that but i just think it'll be a great movie series i wouldn't mind seeing a trilogy with a tv show if it's done right um hopefully the right network will pick it up i know hbo has already picked it up and dropped it but maybe they do uh the the tv part of it or you know netflix or one of these streaming that's the sort of like cool. to see it probably it would be netflix or, or although it would do the opposite of the the feel of the um and the original like release cycle where with Netflix it'd be now you get everything at once, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, rather than ah I have to wait. But I guess it'd be like one book at a time or whatever they, they would do. Yeah, I would imagine. Um, so, but still, yeah. Netflix with the whole like I can just binge watch this. Yeah. I guess it makes a different feel. Still, so let that, us know what you think. Yeah, well, you, that's that's what you want. You want it to do it justice. But let us know what you think. Are you excited for the Dark Tower series? Are you one of those people that has waited 30 years to read the book? Uh, yeah, the book series is, yeah, 
it's older than I am. Um, but hit us up, let us know, comments down below. Of course, at Words for My Face on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook, always good ways of getting on.